Welcome back, guys, to our legacy playthrough of Destiny 1. We are continuing on with the Taken King. So we've done a handful of strikes, talked a lot about Bungie, talked a lot about uh, Sony's acquisition of Bungie, and what the future may hold. Let's move on with the actual campaign, though, as we still have a handful of items that we need to take on before we can jump into Rise of Iron. Okay, Awoken Female on my Hunter. Axe gear and everything, looking good, looking sharp. What do we got now? Um, okay, so we need to go to the tower for something? What is that? What did I do in the tower? Talk to Savala. Ooh, we've got to do Taken More Mars. Ah, oh, come on. And these Taken More things are a little frustrating because it's just grind over here and just kill Taken... Like, come on. I've killed so many Taken already. I don't know how many more you want me to kill, but probably like a thousand. Because we have Earth, which is Cade's domain. Mars appears to be Zavala's. Ikora's probably got some Venus thing going on. So we'll see. Okay. Which means that we have just a, a lot of grinding to do in this episode. Which is like, it's not terrible. We got it done, one planet done in an hour. It's not the worst thing ever, but... It's just other things I'd rather do with my time, you know what I mean? Hey, the tower is stacked. Level 6, level 40. Like in the armor, dude. Caber, just all decked out. Why does this Vault of Glass armor look so much better than the D2 version? I think it's the grittiness. Oh, he's got Atheon's epilogue on him, too. The standard version, not the exotic one. Which is not, like, a slight or anything. I think the standard one looks better. I like the style of it. Um, no, we were talking about this in the comments, too. That... Stay oh, yeah, we got a chest. What is it? Ugh, trash. Katie Bogatier. We get that a lot. Uh, we were talking about, in the comments, just, like, how Destiny 1 has, like, a much grittier look. Like, everything just looks dirtier and battle-worn and scratched up a little bit, and I, I liked that. I like that a lot. I don't like when things look super polished. I don't know. The dirtier, the better, you know what I'm saying? How are you feeling? The echo will be difficult to track. Can't afford to let a champion of works walk free. We have some ideas where to start. It'll be good. We have some idea of where to start. It will be good to work with you, Guardian. I might as well just grab this. I don't think they have an expiration. Dismissed. Okay, let's go deal with this over on Mars. I don't know if it's a grinding thing or if it's a mission. Let's see what it says once we get to orbit, and then we can go from there. Also, too, I've been, I've been getting a lot of questions about the raids. I have addressed this. I will be doing... Oh, man. T taking lieutenants. Baron, Scabbard, Hall. Ugh. So I just have to do all this anyway. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we're going to be here a while. Uh, what I was saying was, is I, I, I've I mentioned that we are going to be doing all the D1 raids. Okay. That's, that's always been the plan. I've said this multiple times. But uh, finding people is going to be a little tricky. Um, so I was thinking I might actually stream that. But I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like people who watch live streams, I'm taking a picture of the map. And people who watch YouTube videos, like, it's all very different, you know? Okay, Rubicon. Oh, it's probably just everything. Baron, Scablands, Hollows, Buried City, Valley of Kings, and the Rubicon Wastes. Oh my god, this is going to be a really, 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 really long one. The fact that you want me to do six lieutenants sucks. Because it takes a while to spawn them. Unless I get lucky and there's one going on. But, uh, it, it, like, I, there's such a fundamental difference between people who, like, are in the Twitch community versus the YouTube community. There is some overlap, of course. But, like, I know I can stream on YouTube, by the way, but I'm just using Twitch as an example because that is, like, the streaming platform. I feel like there is such a culture in Twitch and there is not on YouTube. There is not a culture on YouTube streaming. It's just a streaming platform, and YouTube makes sense for a lot of people because that's where their audience is. I did Twitch back in the day, but it's exhausting, man. It is hard. It is hard. Getting reports of enemy activity near Firebase Rubicon. Like, it is hard to maintain all that. Um, okay, let me take a look at this. Because we are on the Barrens. Does it say the Barrens? Yes. Okay, so we're just going to stick here for part one knock out to the Taken Lieutenants, and I'm just going to yammer on and talk about the same things I've talked about a hundred times already in this playthrough. Um, but I don't know, like, I don't know how, like, I don't know if I have it in me to stream. Like, it's so exhausting. 
It takes a lot of time and it is a job, man. If you're thinking like, it's just you playing video, no, dude, it's not just playing video games, dude. It is, it is tiring. It is tiring. Gonna come for you, baby. Right in your face. That's right. If you've never streamed before, then you don't know what it's like. And if you've tried streaming before and you're just saying, oh, it's just video games, you haven't streamed for real. You tried it out, you didn't like it, you didn't get, you know, followers or subs right away and you gave up. Trust me, I know, I've been there. It is not fun sometimes. Like that's the worst thing about streaming is when you're, when you don't have an audience, you know, just talking into nothing. YouTube is different because I'm still doing the same thing here, but I'm not at the Our same time. Our is growing, but we always need help. Our enemies hold things that we need. Specifics encrypted for your ghost. Because with, uh, with streaming, whether it's YouTube or anywhere, you have to talk to the audience. Oh, nice, we got taken. Okay. You have to talk to the audience, which, you know, might not exist. And that's not fun. Whereas for YouTube, it's like I'm recording like a like a Vidoc kind of. So it, it feels a little different. It's easier to work with. And like I'm a chatterbox anyway, but I think also it helps that I can I can like oh, it's almost like I'm pre-recording like advice and experiences and stuff like that. And that makes it easier um, in the concept. It wasn't always like that I because like I have YouTube videos up from over seven years ago now. But where is that lieutenant? Is it down here? But uh, I stopped YouTube for three to four years and then I came back and I've been doing YouTube every single day without missing a day for four years. Two videos a day, actually, every single day for four years. And then, oh, he's over there. Uh, and then now I, I did, I think my, uh, my Elden Ring playthrough was a really, really long one. And that playthrough... Each episode was an hour and over an hour, so I did like one episode a day after that. I took a break, but now I'm back to it, so. Damn it. Damn reload. Oh, get out of here. Okay, dude, are you serious right now? Where's the other lieutenant? He's not gonna sh launch right here, is he? No. Okay, so he's in a different spot now. Let's see if he spawns here. He didn't. Okay. I don't know. No, because I don't think the lieutenants have shield or have uh, carry like actual physical shields like that. You, on the other hand, there you are. Okay. Pop. 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 Okay, I think the lieutenant's popping back over here. They have arc shields, so it's easy to... Nope, he's not over here. It's easy to pop them with my uh, fate bringer rather than dumping in uh, my rockets on him yet. Let's see. The lieutenant might already be here. Okay, so he's either right there. Nope, he's down below. Yeah, you are. There you go. I'm just going to do it quick. Oh, you piece of garbage. Ah, oh, that sucks. There we go. Okay, so now the big one, I think, either he pops up right here right now. No, he's up at the top. The zealot is coming. Oh, come on. It's level 40. I need you, baby. Shit. Where is he? Where's the zealot? That's not him. Tortures it. There you are. Okay, we got another player here. He's gonna help me out. me to pieces quake attack baby that's what the next subclass should be the the third darkness sh subclass should just be stomp oh he got it nice thank you guy thanks man 
reciprocal runes, huh? Appreciate you. Okay. Abandon objective. Hard point glass. Oh, I don't give a shit about that. I forgot that was even a thing still. The dust palace, I think. Is it this path? I think this takes me to the dust palace. The hollows. I think the dust palace is that one right in front of me, right? Isn't that it? I think there's a... Yeah, we haven't been here yet, actually. Uh, we would be here already for the strike. Oh, you piece of garbage. Damn it. All right. That's my luck, I guess. Um, okay, so we did the Barons. Scavenge Hollows Barret. Okay, I'm glad it didn't kick me. The Hollows. Barons, Scablands, Hollows, Buried City, Valley of Kings, Rubicon Ways. Okay, so there should be one here. I don't know where the Taken is here on this side. But anyway, as this playthrough goes on, like, I won't get to the raids until, like, the last, last thing that we do. So if you guys actually want to see uh, live streaming of the raids or if you have any interest in participating, join the Mark and Nine community Discord server. Come chat with me. We'll make it happen. Okay? And uh, and we'll see what's up. It, but, but just for my own sanity, because I will be, like, making videos of it, like, we'll have to talk about, like, proper etiquette, like, what you can say and, and you know, what's what I will allow in the videos, you know, and uh, things like that. Plus, uh, you know, it would help if you knew what you were doing. Because, like, I want to get through it. I don't want to just, like... I don't want to just, like, have someone who's, you know, a fan of the playthrough joining and it's been like, oh, I want to play, and, you know, and, and hang out. Like, we can do that, too. I'd be fine. Like, we can do Destiny 2 and play that together. I think that might be something that we can do is we can do, like, uh, because there's a bigger community of uh, an online presence of, uh, of, like, strike stuff we can do. I think that would be fun. We can do that with viewers, viewers and stuff. But for recording videos for, for the raids, like, I actually want to... I want to have people that know what they're doing so we can get through it efficiently. That's the goal anyway. Because ideally what I want to do is I'm going to stream it with people that, that are interested in streaming it with me. And then I'm going to record that. And the stream will be recorded as an episode of the playthrough at some point. That's my that's my initial thought. That's what I would like to do anyway. See, I just popped this guy with double. Four with two bullets. And he didn't even have a solar shield on. Void, baby. Yeah, tell me short gaze is not the best freaking scope. Eat my butt. Easily. I, I'm actually, I'm picking on one guy. I, I I don't remember who said it, but I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know what I'm talking about. He had a different scope that he liked over short gaze. And uh, and he was like, yeah, that one sucked. He, I forget what he said. He didn't say it sucks, but he was basically telling me there was a better one. But he was, you know, he was being, he was being uh, elitist about it, but in like, you know, in a funny way. So I'm just kind of pushing that back. What is that? Oh, it's a purple. I was like, what is that purple thing? Oh, you bitch. Bing. I don't remember where the Taken show up here. I feel like they will show up in this general area, but I don't remember. Anyway. Yeah, that, I think, is that, am I wrong? Is that not the Dust Palace? It could be one of these other bigger buildings. Like this could be. No, I'm, I think it's this. I'm pretty sure it's this because I remember the strike itself brings you in here, doesn't it? I have to do the Dust Palace one. Whether we want it or not. <laughs> I'm just going to hang out here. I wonder if there's a way to somehow trigger... the Taken thing a little bit more quickly. Clovis Bray. Hey. Yeah, the lore on, lore on Clovis Bray is very interesting, but I don't... I don't know at all. Or hardly any of it. But isn't he the guy? Isn't Clovis... Like, it's his first... It's like Clovis Bray. First name, last name is the, is his business. And uh, he's the one who made the Exos. Isn't that, isn't that it? And then Clovis Bray, he's a... The... Is he the grandfather? Some either grandfather or great great grandfather, something like that. He's a relative ancestor of uh, the Bray sisters, Elsie and uh, what's the other one? They're named after the Disney characters from Frozen. Elsie and the other the other one, Elsie Bray and 
Janet Bray. I don't remember what her name is. I don't even know. Where the hell are all these freaking taken, man? Come on. I wish there was a consumable to make it happen. I don't like just sitting here waiting, but Bungie loves that. Bungie loves inflating playtime by making you sit and wait. As a side note, as I was talking about before, about how I wish Destiny was a, if you see it, you can go to it. Imagine these were all places that you could go to. I'm reminded of Horizon Forbidden. Wait, why is my... Yeah, off. Well, um, because we're... Why is it showing that? Test. Test, test, test. Notice that it had a little mic icon? Yeah. Does it only work when I... I don't know. I don't know what triggers that. What is that icon for? Oh, it's on my freaking... It's on my controller. I forgot it has that mute thing. There we go. Now it's off. Okay. I forgot the PlayStation 5 controller had that. Because it has a built-in mic. I would never use that, but... All right, whatever. Um... Uh... Imagine that you could go through here. Horizon Forbidden West had a really like beautiful way of of letting you explore that stuff. But as with like most Sony Studios open world games, like yeah, there's collectibles, but it's only that like a handful of things. It's like oh, find this collectible doll, or and then find like you know crafting materials, which is like always you know tin cans and leather and you know stuff like that. It's not a whole lot of interesting stuff. Once in a while, you find something that's like you know, super rare collectible, but like the thing that bothers me about like valuables, air quotes, in in games like that, especially the Horizon series, is that it's all junk. Like it's all old world junk, like mugs and broken pocket watches and stuff like that. And you turn those in for in-game currency. And it like, it's like, they, they're just meaningless. It doesn't really, like they all have the same value unless they're like, but they're based on like colored rarity. So like you have greens, blues, you know, purples and then occasionally an orange or something and it's like they i don't know there's no difference between one orange rarity item and another for a treasure you just create a different little icons for them it's a chest over here i think and like that just kind of makes that sort of thing meaningless and i never really liked that like make it actually impactful you know i, I want to collect i want collectibles where i'm excited about the collectibles, you know what I'm saying? But I, I also liken this to games where, like, you're trying to find rare weapons and, uh, you know, rare armor pieces and rare crafting materials where it's, like, really in-depth. But, like, Sony Studios games have a tendency to give you the illusion of depth with things like that. The Ryzen series is brilliant and really fun from a story and combat perspective and i'll tell you horizon forbidden west on the playstation did i play it on playstation 5 i think i played it on was it no i think i got it on pc i think no it was was it ps5 shoot i can't remember i don't remember which one i was playing it on actually now that i think about it, it, it maybe it was ps5 i don't know whatever the point is 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 it, it is by far the most beautiful game i have ever played like ever Horizon Forbidden West, the sequel, is the most beautiful game I have ever seen. It's it's great. There was a point where, uh, what was it? Death Stranding was the most beautiful, but that game sucks overall. Like, I, I'm not a huge Hideo Kojima fan. I don't know why people lick his boots, because he doesn't know how to tell a good story. I'm sorry, but if you think he tells a good story, you are wrong. Because his, like, the thing is, Hideo Kojima's, like, entire, and I, I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to sh on him, but I am going to criticize a little bit, because I don't like what he thinks telling a story is. The dude basically gets high on LSD, and I'm, you know, obviously being cheeky, I don't think he actually does that, but he, it seems like he gets high on some sort of hallucinogen, comes up with a bunch of crazy cool concepts, has no idea, like, how to make sense of them, but mashes them all together, like, as a, uh, as a, oh, hey. As a, as a game. Like, Death Stranding makes next to no sense. And it's got a bunch of cool concepts, but it feels like about maybe a dozen different game ideas all smashed into one. And then it doesn't, it's, it's all really, it's just, I don't know, it's so forced. And then it's a left up to the player's interpretation. No, bitch, don't leave it up to me. If you're going to tell a story, tell it right. 
I don't, I'm not the storyteller here. Like, why, why do I gotta make sense of your nonsense? Like, that's not, I, what? No. I have no idea how I got on this tangent. Oh, it's because I brought up Death Stranding. And like, people are stoked about Death Stranding 2. And like, I had to give up on Death Stranding 1. The menu system was super, like, oh my God. The in-game menu is the worst I've ever seen in any video game ever. Visually, it looked amazing. But like, the gameplay concept, boring as hell. I don't like walking across large open lands, carrying a bunch of items, like for people doing a delivery service. I don't like delivery simulator, that's lame. There's there's other combat and other like really cool things I heard about the game that take place away later, but like it was just so much in the beginning. It was so overwhelming I gave up. I actually was gonna do a playthrough on YouTube and I just never did it because it it took so much out of me. This is super annoying. Where in the hell are the taken? I know they pop up here. I wonder if there's just a certain amount of activity and kills you have to get before they eventually show up. But like, you know what I mean? I don't know, like Death Stranding had, I just don't think he tells a good story at all. And I haven't played the Metal Gear games, which I know are hailed as well, but I'm worried they're gonna be similar to that. I'm worried they're gonna be similar to just nonsensical ideas wrapped in military, or maybe he had other people help him put that story together and it's just, it's just great. I heard Guns of the Patriot was amazing. Um, but I haven't played any of them. I've seen gameplay, I understand why people like it, and maybe like the story is good there, I don't know. But Death Stranding, I'll say, just pisses me off and it totally killed any passion or interest that I could have developed for Hideo Kojima. I just didn't like it, did not like it at all. It's just not, I couldn't. Beautiful game though. But if you look at, if you look at Sony's other games, like, you've got the Horizon series that I talked about. You have The Last of Us, which is open to an extent. More so The Last of Us Part 2 than 1. There's a lot more open world stuff there. And then um, Days Gone. Days Gone had massive potential, too. I really... Okay, that noise, the Taken are coming, right? Yep, there it goes. Um... Days Gone had massive potential as well, but I think I heard there was like pro problems in development and problems with, um, uh, with a with like some like the game director is kind of like a, a dick or something like that. I forget or like the ex game director, he's you know piece of crap on social media and stuff. I don't know, um, but it struggled. It had a bunch of delays. I remember that. Um, I remember going to E3 one year. I was invited to E3 and I went there and it like they had a days gone like event and then the game like didn't come out for another two or three years or something um but like that game too similar to uh where is the oh that was the attendant i didn't see his health bar um that game too suffered from like just a handful of crafting materials and it's just really repetitive finding duct tape and bandages and onions and like tin cans and nails it's like dude that's not interesting like there's got to be something more substantial like i want to get excited about a loot drop in an open world game it's not exciting if it's just crap you know i don't know and i don't think i'm alone in that i feel like that's a that's a reasonable ask too but i i hope if if Sony is cracking the whip, as we talked about on Bungie. I hope that they really understand, because I don't think they, I don't think Sony has really done a first-hand Sony Studios uh, open-world looter shooter game, right? Like there have been games on the platform that are looter shooters, you know, but I don't think Sony Studios is, has done that themselves. Come back here. Oh, nice. That was a heavy hit. Uh, talked about. Wait. Why is it letting me do that? Oh, it was taking lieutenants. So it wasn't the big name zealots that it wanted me to go after? Oh, and, it, and I could do it from anywhere. Well, son of a bitch. I've been going after the big boys thinking those are lieutenants or something. Where is the, oh, there he is, I see him. So I didn't actually need to do, oh man, I put a lot more effort into that. So this isn't a lieutenant here. This is something else. I don't know what this really counts as. The lieutenants are the uh, I see. Okay. I guess it makes sense. It did say taking lieutenant was slain. Damn it, dude. I can't believe I didn't realize that. I thought the big bosses were the important ones that they were after. Yeah, he's already almost dead.
I thought that was always cool about how like you could hit him and that's how you see like his actual figure. Damn it. Okay, these guys are not letting up, are they? But no, I think I think there's some damn it, that one I didn't notice. I think there's some some potential. I'm actually really excited about what what Sony's gonna do. I think. With uh with Destiny. I think there's some good stuff in the pipeline. He's trying to back off now. I can barely see your crit spot. There we go. Okay, then we can go back. Damn, dude, I spent so much time doing the taking things, not realizing. Ugh, that's that's a story of my freaking life, I'm telling you. That's good to know. I won't make that mistake for the next one, though. Oh, wrong one. Because it'll be Venus next, and I will not make that mistake this time. I'll just focus on the yellow bars. When the zealot spawns in, I'll just pop all the yellow bars around him, and bam, there you go. I won't need to use gold, uh, Golden Gun's uh, Nighthawk anymore. I'll just swap over to uh, Symbiote, because that'll give me an extra shot here. So I'll grab that. Let's go, uh, what does it look like, Glohu? It does give me a little, some difference there. Stolen Chalice looks pretty good on that. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some red. Actually, how does this look? I need to boost this up too. Actually, this kind of looks the best, huh? And it's tough too because if a player inspects me, I want them to be like envious. I want them to look at me and be like, oh, he's got the exotic, you know? The legendary one's cool and it's the same exact thing, but it's not exotic and that's where uh, the respect comes in. Hey, hey, we got a, a purple. Raku Poltergeist. Raku. I think, what, didn't this helmet I don't know if it's the same name, but this, the visual style didn't it just come back in Destiny 2 as like a, a 10th anniversary armor that you can find or an ornament or something. I don't know if it was uh, cosmetic only or what, but oh, the coolest and never returned helmet. This is my favorite warlock helmet of all time, dude. The light beyond Nemesis. Obsidian Mind is another really cool one, but there's a few legendaries that kind of look like that. But light beyond Nemesis is incredible. That's a freaking warlock helmet, dude. One thing I wish that they would do, like, and I would spend a lot of money on this. If Destiny 2 made legendary ornaments of exotics that you can just equip, I'd buy that. Imagine you were just decked out in all exotic, like, armor, but it's just legendary ornament vari variants of them. Dude, that would be sick. I would wear that. And I wish they would do that with some of the, if you're not gonna bring back the D1 armor, like to D2 ever, which I think they will now. Now that Icebreaker is coming back and the Dreadnought's coming back, I would not be surprised if we saw Symbiote return. Mask of the Third Man could come back for Arc Strider, I think. Arachnid is just a cool one. These two are great pieces, at least in visual style. I think they look really cool. That's just cool, dude. And like, look, you can see that like even in D1, they still had the helmet and the chest showing at the same time. So it exists. Um, I don't really care about Skyburner's Annex. I think it's an ugly ass helmet. But uh, but they should just bring it back as legendary ornaments if you're not going to bring back the armor at all. I do think Don't Touch Me should come back. That one was a lifesaver, dude. I love Don't Touch Me's. Those things are freaking great. I think I still have it on me, don't I? Yeah. Talked about this some time ago. It was a great exotic armor for when you were doing Crotazen Raid and you were trying to get okay, away from Thrall. The Thrall would melee you, you turn invisible and they leave you alone. Continues across the surface. I need you back in the air. Track the signal on the of the echo. We finally tracked the uh, echo of Oryx. It is Ears embrace. Cool, 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 cool. What brings you here? Alright, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think I'll save this. I'll save this. Good to know, man. I've been making a lot of mistakes, though. Because like, it's hard to remember. Like, if you want to criticize me for not remembering things or, or 
you know, like someone, someone said, a, had a comment too, uh, and said like, they apologize for something they said earlier, but the way I'm playing, it looks like I don't know what I'm doing. Dude, this is a 10 year old game. Of course I don't remember what I'm doing, which is weird because I put, you know, 4,000 hours into this game. You would think that I remember something, but I don't, man. I don't remember anything, but, uh, whatever. That's just how it is. We're going to continue, uh, in the next episode of the playthrough going on to Fear's Embrace. I think that is the last episode like maybe not the last episode because there's there's still a handful of quests for taken king stuff oh we got a primary weapon agents beachhead board the dreadnought and put an end to the cabal transmission to the stars complete mission outbound signal okay so we have that broken will i'm not doing blighted worlds i think this will be I, well i don't really know i don't really know about this one Blighted Worlds? Because they said something about Venus. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Is there a mission called Blighted Worlds on Venus? I would think so. But it doesn't say complete mission Blighted Worlds, did it? Not that I saw. Because it looks like the Taken War Fears Embrace is the last mission. And then you have King's Fall Raid, and then you have Pretend of the Throne and Blighted Chalice. So I kind of did them out of order. Yeah, see, Venus isn't even highlighted, and there's nothing even here. So I don't know what they want from me. But we'll worry about that later. For now... We'll wrap it up, uh, and then, yeah, what do you want? What is this for? I don't know what's here. Doesn't matter. But we'll do Fears Embrace in the next episode of the playthrough. If you did enjoy this episode and my yammering, you can show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There are some links there that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark and I Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. Otherwise, just know I appreciate you and your time, and I hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of The Taken King. All right, guys. That's it for me. Take care. Be well. See you next time.